All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's your good friend Possible here. And I have to admit, I have a problem. I have a big problem. If you're listening to this from my site, then guess what? It's Wednesday. It's the last Wednesday of August, August 28th of 2013. And it is the time for the last next batch of August. And where does that leave me? It leaves me with movies that I could have sworn I have seen before. But they're trying to put a new twist on them. you got to give them that. And uh, it's just, it's not working for me, people. I have to admit, I'm sorry, Hollywood. I'm just not buying it. Okay, first off, we start off with Getaway. Ethan Hawke and Selena Gomez. I knew very little about this. You know, the movies I'm about to preview are movies I have not seen in trailers in the theater. Now, I'm sure maybe you've seen them. Uh, I have not, personally. But Getaway, basically you have this guy we don't know much about him. He can drive. Um, and this guy gets a call from somebody who has his wife. And in order for him to get his wife back, he needs to steal a very souped-up car, or what I hope looks like a souped-up car. So far, the only thing I can tell about this car is that it moves fast, and it has all the normal bells and whistles. Here's the funny part. You know, kids, back in the 80s, something like this would have been like Kit. Okay, this is Knight Rider. This would be considered impossible technology. Even for the 80s, that was considered impossible. Nowadays, it's just placé. That said, the car was one of the most amazing things about this trailer until Selena Gomez says it was her car. I don't know what she means by that. I have bad dreams about what she means by that. So I'm a little worried about Getaway. Getaway is supposed to be a thriller, you know? He has to do whatever this guy says. The guy puts him in impossible situations, but he's going to overcome to save his wife. That's why the one thing he's going to do that everyone does in a hostage situation, you threaten the hostage taker. Movies like this always seem to fall flat, okay? Let's hope. Ethan Hawke can gain some speed as he tries to um, overcome all odds to save his wife. And you know it's a little joke there? That's because that's the problem with this weekend. It's all... I, I don't feel like I'm watching new movies. I feel like I'm watching old movies. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Possible, are you nuts? All movies that have come out in the past are movies that have been made in the past, you know? I meant to say that all movies that have been made in the future are movies that have come from the past. I get it. But they at least trick you into thinking that it's a fresh new concept. And ooh, ah, I can't wait to see that. So this one, uh -uh. this one gives me the feeling that I've seen it before. It's old school. It's too old school, you know. Um, but I hope I'm wrong. Get away gets a pass, though. I don't recommend it. Next up, closed circuit. Well, it seems to be that the CIA isn't the only one having problems with corruption. It's time for... MI5 to get into the action. That's right. They're watching your every move on closed circuit. Apparently, one thing they're talking about, I've seen this in a few British shows, is that there are circuit cameras everywhere in Britain. So they're watching everything you do. I hope they didn't see what I did in the lake. I was drunk! Okay, anyway. Uh, in, so what's happening is that there's a terrorist bombing. A terror thing explodes. Now, one reason why I think this happened in Britain I wonder how this coincided with the Boston bombing. You know, remember the Boston bombing where basically everything blew up and now you got these kids. And how did we catch these kids? Well, all the cameras. Well, the cameras didn't come from the government. The cameras didn't come from shops. The cameras came from everyday people. Let's face it. There are cameras everywhere. But this thriller has Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall defending a guy who's suspected of terrorism. Now, what's interesting is before the bombing, and they say this in the uh, trailer, so I hope I'm not giving away too much, but before the bombing, he lost contact. He was supposed to be this undercover guy for MI5 to infiltrate this terrorist cell before the bombing went off. Now, the bombs have gone off, he's been out of contact for a while, and he's being held responsible for the bombing. Which brings us to the whole closed circuit scene. But apparently somebody's trying to keep something quiet because everyone's going around killing everybody else. So what's going on? Who do you trust? Do, 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 do. Okay, sorry, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was trying to do the X-Files uh, thing. Yes, it's a mysterious X-Files. Or should I say Eagle Eye? Or should I say what other kind of thriller has somebody where everyone's watching everything else? My gosh, I wonder if they're going to be hungry and you know, get in the Hunger Games or something. Seem too familiar? 
feels too familiar, but it also hits a little too close to home. And something about these movies, I don't know, I mean, Getaway, it's closed circuit. I didn't see anything really wrong with these movies, but they have that sense, this instinct of mine, this, you know, movie critic instinct is telling you, don't see it. I don't know why. I give it a pass. Next up, you might be wondering about this movie. You want to talk about the past. You want to talk about movies that have been done before. This Is Us is basically a behind-the-scenes look at One Direction's road trip that they did. You know, they're on their tour. And all the this and the dragon is about them showing what normal guys they are, what regular guys they are. You might be saying, well, Possible is going to say pass on this one because he's not a 12-year-old girl, um, obviously. These kind of movies, though, let's face it, they've been done since the Beatles. You know, these kind of movies have been around since the beginning of time, kind of like Getaway, kind of like Closed Circuit. There's just something too familiar about that. Oh, I forgot to say about Closed Circuit. I bet you can get it from the right vantage point. Or was it viewpoint? What was that one movie with Matthew Fox? Anyway, and Sigourney Weaver, remember? The camera caught everything. These camera movies, directional movies, can be kind of crazy. But One Direction, yes. I would give it a pass. But you know what? Despite it all, I really can't because I do not know who these guys are. I don't know any of the songs they sing. They're just another boy band. Do we love to hate them? Yes, we do. But does that make it fair? No, it doesn't. Is it ever really fair? No, it's not. So I give it a pass. But I also give it a brand new rating. You know how sometimes we do passes? See it. Decide. This one is obviously going to get the one and only niche. It's a niche movie. Meaning, if this is your niche, go for it. I.e., if you're a 12-year-old girl, go for it. And if you're the parent of a 12-year-old girl, don't go see it with them, okay? Um, don't recommend it. I mean, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be like a, watching a two-hour reality show of concert, of them goofing off, and of them having fun. If you're fans of them, do it. Of course. It's your niche. This is a niche movie. You know, I know you're thinking to me, but possible, wouldn't that really make all movies niche movies? Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're good. So that's why I'm giving this a niche. All right. Good luck, guys. We'll see you at the theaters, and hopefully some more reviews of more current information will be coming soon from Possible Movie Reviews. Take care.